To help you understand adjustment layers, let's say we have this scenario with four different clips that we want to add the same effect to. It's okay if you don't know how to add effects yet, this is a good thing to know before you start using them. So I'm going to add an effect by going over to the effects panel, and I'll drag my blur effect onto each clip manually. Then to make adjustments to my blur effect, I'll select my clip and go up to effect controls to increase its blur. But I want to blur all my clips, so I'd have to select each clip I added my effect to, and repeat this process of going up to effect controls and increasing the blur. As you can see, this can get to be time consuming, especially if you have your footage already cut up into a million pieces from editing it. And things get even more complicated if I wanted to add my blur effect to only the first half of my first clip as well as the others. Then I'd have to make another cut and add my effect to that new cutout piece. In no time, your timeline will get really messy and your project will take 10 times longer to complete. But luckily, all these issues can be solved with adjustment layers, so I'm going to undo adding my blur effect to all my clips. Now to add an adjustment layer, I'm going to go back to the project panel. Then I'll right click in the project panel, hover over new item, and select adjustment layer. The default setting should match your timeline, so just hit OK. Now I'll drag my new adjustment layer from the project bin onto the track above the clips I like to add my blur effect to. Then I'll drag my adjustment layer's end to change its duration to cover all the clips I want to add my blur effect to. And of course, you can drag your adjustment layer to reposition it over the clips you want. Now whatever effect I add to this adjustment layer is going to also add the effect to any clips underneath it. So for example, I'll add my blur effect to the adjustment layer. Then with my adjustment layer selected, I'll go up to effect controls. And in here, I'll increase the blurriness of the effect on the adjustment layer. Okay, and now when I scrub through this, you can see that anything underneath my adjustment layer is blurred out. Notice how I can run my adjustment layer through the middle of a clip and my blur effect will only start once the playhead gets to the adjustment layer. No need for adding my effect to a bunch of different cutout clips, I did it all with a single adjustment layer. With this adjustment layer, I could add multiple effects to it or I could change or delete my effects without having to go in and edit each clip. The great thing about adjustment layers is that Premiere Pro lets you do a bunch of different things with them like add animation and even color grade all on this single layer. One last thing to keep in mind is that if you have multiple clips underneath your adjustment layer, it will affect all of them. So yeah, adjustment layers are a pretty big deal if you want to save time and keep your workspace clean. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. In the next one, we'll talk about using adjustment layers to change the scale and position of your clips. Hey everyone, if you like this tutorial, check out my Ultimate Premiere Pro course in the link below. For only $14, you'll get all my current and future content without ads and intros. The course even has some exclusive content with more exclusive videos coming in the future. Thanks for the love and support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.